so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you something better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? Will Smith. I'm on both ends of this because I generally do not care. Um, both of them are registered car carrying coons to me, but my old lady's interested in it, I guess. And so it's all love, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break it down, break it down, break it down. Apparently, Will Smith has been admitted into a high big money facility for rehab, which is part of the getting back right thing people do. I believe, uh, you know, Robert Downey Jr. had it. Everyone had to do it. Everyone's done it. You know, even Kodak done did it. So he's going to a rehab facility. You said he did do an apology. Can yes. you give us some, some, some talk on the on, on on the apology? Yes, I don't know what date he posted this on his Instagram, but it reads as follows. So, mind you, Will Smith has sixty three point eight million followers. So, um, and four hundred million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> So it says violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job. But a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I'm embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. Uh, There's no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I would like to also apologize to the Academy. What? He is shaking the camera. Oh, sorry. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all the attendees and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. You're a work in progress with $400 million and you're 53 years old. I am 37 years old with nowhere near $400 million. I'm a work in progress. Okay? I just feel like it's just... You know, we watch videos of cats getting kicked in the face. You know, why this is so important, I guess I get it because they're super duper popular and it's, you know, it's the whole, you know, uh, uh, hero worship bull crap, but it's like, who cares? So you got slapped. You know, that's why I'm just at the point where I just be like, let's just move on from it. But people aren't moving on from it, so I have to cover it. But... You know, he slapped him. He said, sorry, forget about it. It's over. Like, that's how I feel. That's that's my view on it. It was big of him to say something. First of all, I don't think he apologized. I think I was the publicist. Mm. I mean, who talk, indicative? Who talks like that? He's <laughs> like, you know, if you're going to do an apology, you should have did the Kevin Hart joint. Just went, just went yeah. on your joint and just apologized. Was straight like, up. I was yeah. wrong. Yeah, just a straight up. I mean, because you're Every from time Philly. rich people get in a problem, they run to a rehab. I can't run to a rehab when I slap somebody. Like, it's just stupid, bro. It's dumb. Yeah, I think um, I've said it prior. I said it's just not fair. You know how many people I want to slap, right? right. <laughs> you know, and I don't. I don't have the opportunity, nor do I have the affordability to do so. Um, so it was definitely unfair, and I think that's what most people are up in arms about. That you just can't go smacking people willy nilly, and you know, because we want to smack people too, all <laughs> and the, <laughs> all the time, and um, by it being facts, <laughs> by it being unfair. It has us start to make decisions based off of who do we align with, what people do we share our deals with, what celebrities do we want to still support and stuff. And so the apology, like I said, you know, you slapped them. The least you could have did was say it. I think you should have said the apology. Because he didn't apologize. It was a public. He didn't apologize yeah. for that. He probably thinking the same thing any hood cat thinking. Screw him. You talking about old lady? I slapped him. Yeah. I slap him again. That's what yeah. you really want to say. <laughs> My I thing is, mean. your career is over. Yeah. So I feel like you should double down. Like just be like, yeah, I slapped him. I ain't liked him since ninety one. He probably ain't liked them since ninety one. Yeah. Like we don't know what goes on back in the day when only only thing we had was XXL to see what's going on. They probably been hating each other for years. 
Drake said it the best, yo. I don't, I like, I'm not an actor no more. Like, my acting days are over. F you for life. For bro. life, man. Screw it. I doubled down. Yeah, yeah, I slapped him. Give me the charge. I got the money to beat the case. I respect that more. And he's old enough to be set in his ways to that way. I mean, right. I wouldn't think nothing less of him. Because, like, like I said, you're in your 50s. When you get to that level of I don't care no more, right. That's I can respect that. He's a doer. Everybody been talking about what they would do. Will Smith did it. Like yeah, it's just yeah. it's, it's that simple. Yeah, but he did do another black man. We are black men are killing each other at an alarming rate. Yeah, it's not like it's slowing down by any metric. Stop so. it. Well then how are they gonna think of us at the Oscars? Number one, I don't think no black people should be at the Oscars. They ain't t- for you. That's how I feel. You don't want me to get it going. Like listen. I, if you're the, first of all, if you make it to the Oscars, you're coming. <laughs> listen. Straight up. Let's put this into a lighter perspective. Or, an- or another perspective. The Met has not been the same since Cardi B and Nicki Minaj fought. Facts. And I'm pretty sure they're never going to be invited again. I wouldn't be surprised if their two faces is printed out. And, you know, like at Walgreens, when you steal something, they put your face up on the wall of shame. That's pretty much what's going to happen now. And I, I think that we're in a space in society where there will be a differential. They They know who is willing to play ball, who's not. They know who's going to be a troublemaker, who's not. This is not going to be the rendition of the Source Awards again, people. They know. They're well in tune. And it's really up to you if you want to keep getting an invitation back. So if you want to be invited back. You want to keep cooning, what she means. Basically. Then, you know, the invitation. It's just sound. You po- you're you under the impression that you're supposed to act like you know. And if you step out that line, the repercussions are simple. They're going to hit your pockets because that's the only thing that you guys understand. Right. Anybody understands that. Harvey Weinstein didn't slap nobody, but he was raping chicks behind closed doors. Yeah. It's like, this isn't the worst thing that happened yeah. in the world. Now, my thing is, y'all, oh, well, that's how they're going to look at us. The problem is you're worried about how they're going to look at us. Yeah. That's why I like people who are independent, bro. You're worried about that. When I do stuff, I'm not worrying about how they're going to take it. Yeah. I just do what I want to do. Oh, you're never going to get a check like that. I also know money ain't everything because he got $400 million and there he is crying. Yeah. So I'm confused. I mean, Peter McKinnon ain't crying. He don't got four hundred million dollars. <laughs> Screw that, man! I, it's stupid. It's it it's it's it is to show how much validation we need from them. Mm. Don't care. I haven't watched the Oscars. I still haven't. Watched, I haven't watched the Oscars in twenty years. Yeah, I mean it that was like a back in the day thing when everyone it's, sat it's, down. It, it's and irrelevant. That. Most people don't even watch what they really put out like that. Yeah. People watch YouTube, dude. They don't even watch this. Yeah. The only reason we looked is because he slapped them. I what? wouldn't I wouldn't even have known that this happened. I wouldn't even have known that the Oscars was what date the Oscars come out. I have no I'm not checking up on that. Oh, the Oscars, I gotta get home to watch it. Like, no one's doing that no more. <laughs> Which made it now interesting. <laughs> exactly. And back in the day we watched it because they were breaking news and stop what you were watching for yeah. the Oscars. Yeah. No one cares, bro. They should do this in a private club where the other actors care because they're into that. Mm. We don't care, bro. Yeah. We'll rather watch Ninja, PewDiePie, um, 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 Million Dollars Worth of Game, Breakfast Club, Vlad T. That's what we're watching. We're not watching this. Yeah. The only part you've seen is the joke and when he walked up there and slapped him. If that's the case, give me all the nominees. (laughs) <laughs> Go ahead, you right now. Give me the nominees. I I don't know. Point made. I don't know. I know. I this is what we do know. Um, well about that life. <laughs> um, and to be honest with you, you know, I know a lot of people are trying to extrapolate that over to the August Alcina thing. Here's the thing, though. It's like, and I'm just going out here on a lifeboat he's like a kid will doing something to that boy is like him physically harming his own son that boy is frail small it wouldn't even so to try to make the two as if they're both the same point i'm not gonna go there and say that i'm not a man i'm not gonna speak from that validation stance and august asina is a slum cat and there's repercussions to it yeah there's no repercussions to slapping Chris Rock. Yeah, Chris is well, on. Chris is your physically. peer. 
So as your peer, you know how this goes. But the August I've seen it, that's something you don't know. He doesn't He's know. He's young yeah. and the young dudes right now are retarded. You yeah. don't know what the comeback is to that. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much how you handle it. August I've seen it, that's something he don't know. Chris, he does yeah, know. I mean, so. Yeah, I can slap you. You ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to mess up your money. My thing is, if you've had four, you've had hundreds of millions of dollars for over 10, 20 years, how much do you really care about money? <laughs> And what are you gonna, I'm not going to be broke. Yeah. You can't take my money back. Yeah. Like you, my, my royalty checks may slow down, but I already have 400 million. So it's like, yeah, you're not pulling independence day off the shelves. <laughs> right. That we do know. Like the slap heard around the world. Yeah. Like no one's changing I, up. anything. I mean, people now. are still sneaking and listening to R Kelly. Like, right. Like, right. That 12 place <laughs> still hot. I don't get It is what it is. Like it's hot. <laughs> you don't care. Like y'all still listen to, I believe I can fly. Don't do that. <laughs> don't try. Y'all be, that's the problem. The world be trying to put everything in one basket it's not and everything don't belong in the same and basket. let's be honest like iron man said when he was putting on the suit no girl pepper caught him this ain't the worst thing that these dudes do yeah this in the grand scheme of kevin spacey's and all that he, this was light yeah he popped somebody he ain't even close fisted yeah this is the most realistic i can understand right moment than any other situation we've been hearing for the past decade like i get why he did it and i understand why he did it it wasn't like something where we didn't know why he did it, it wasn't we understood a human being can understand if you disrespect someone that's close to them and they're on the edge or what have you that's a a, a correct response you know so I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying we do understand why he did it. We know it can happen, man. We know it can happen. And you can get out of line. You know, uh, someone can pop you, bro. Like, yeah. It's just just that simple. It's not the worst thing that's going to freaking happen. These rappers make a joke on a track and die. Yeah. Like, this was a pop um, amongst thespians. And like, these are not even hard dudes. They're thespians. They're in the, 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 yeah. uh, the what's they call it? Drama club. Yeah. So they, they, they smacked each other. Okay, it is what it is. But what does it represent for black? Everything you do does not represent everything for black people. That is something I had to let go myself. You're not going to put me in that category where I have the weight of all of you on my back when you do not conduct yourself in the proper way in the first place. Yeah. If you cannot stop, if you cannot fix or address black people killing black people, you have no other argument for me about anything about black people. And so that is the first thing that should be fixed. And the truth is everyone has the same rhetoric when it comes to that. He's from Philly. So that's how Philly people do. Then you have a person from Atlanta. They'll say you have a person from I'd California. Slapped him too. So and you got a person who's, you know, well, I wouldn't have did that. I did yeah. it different. My thing is you're not him. You're not him. We don't know how this could have been a 15 year slap weight. <laughs> and he just finally said, you know what? It was a bet made back in the day. <laughs> right. And my thing is nothing too. Y'all don't get it. He's a YouTuber. Yeah. I won't, I, I won't put you in another movie. I'm a YouTuber. Like I don't yeah, need to be in your movie. I can just keep doing YouTube videos. He freed himself from the shackles of Hollywood officially. This was a way to get out of all the contracts he didn't want to do. Mm. Cause guess what? It's postponed. I bet you it is. Yeah. You better go see if uh 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 what's that dude name all the dudes like uh 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 he played Apollo's kid. Uh, uh Oh, Michael J, J what is it? Michael, Michael B Jordan? Yeah. Don't put Michael B. Jordan in the roles. <laughs> He's the next Will anyway. Yeah, he looks just like him. Right. Man. Put him in yeah, there. I like him too. Put it put him yeah. up. I can see Michael B. Jordan in in in, in those roles. Put him in there and yeah. leave me alone. Will is ready to smoke weed. <laughs> He's ready to just chill out. He's ready to get fat. No. He's done. Yeah. He's done, bro. It's put his fork in him. Y'all have got every single industry dollar you can out of this guy. Let him go off and just do what Eddie Murphy does. Pop up every two years and say something and leave. Yeah. Joe Budden said it the best. He actually said that Will Smith life is scripted. When you, when you're that much of a, Money integral maker. part of Hollywood royalty. I mean, Will Smith is Hollywood royalty at this point. Right. It's scripted, bro. I mean, he's living along the same guise of Queen Elizabeth. Like, that's how he has to move. That's what he has to do. And that gets old. And it gets old. So he wanted a little, he wanted to spice it up, you know? Yeah, he spice it up. He said, you know, <laughs> you got nine more videos and movies to do, then you can retire. No, nah, I don't want to do them. You got to do them. Your contract is obligated. Okay. Okay. I got something for you. Pop, we're not doing the movie. Wow. <laughs> See how that works Isn't out. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> you got to give the two million back. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Dude, sit down. 
get a whole basket of marijuana, right? Sit on your private island you probably have and and do yoga, man. Yeah. And and you know what? Just do your YouTube. Yeah. Because for real, when watching YouTube, I like you enjoy doing that more. If I could like say something to Will, you did everything you were supposed to do. You took care of your family. You took care of everyone. Everyone has prospered from you. You you made it to the finish it line. It should be about you for the next 20 years. Yeah. And if that's freaking, you know, 90s theme Asian chicks in Dubai, hey, man, do your <laughs> thing, buddy. Like, I ain't on it. And, and just go live from your, I mean, you should start streaming game. You should do whatever you want. Yeah. You should definitely do like, a, what's his name? Um, T-Pain. Right. I love T-Pain. Talk about an awesome after story. Yeah. If you everything guys are not ab- following, you need to follow T Pain. Everything you know? about T Pain's YouTube is good vibes. Everything. Everything. He's a he's just a vibe. Like yeah. he's the amazing vibe. Like when remember we seen him and his mom cooked him that right. shepherd's pie. Right. And just seeing them interact, I was like, oh my yes. God, why do I Come not Come to know find T-Pain out at the end level? of the whole thing, he's a mama boy like everybody mama else. Boy. He's a mama boy like him. He's a mama boy too. I was a mama's boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. There's no reason for him to trip out anymore. Your yeah. plaques are on the wall, man. You're done. You did what you S- supposed sit to Sit do. down and, and start making your own indie movies or, or you know, <laughs> or just do YouTube. He, but I would just, I would stream just like this. Yeah. And I would be saying all type of crap that would get me banned in Hollywood because screw it. It's already over. Yeah. I would definitely have the craziest backdrop. Right. I would make everyone hate me. I would just go live and say, Meryl Streep, not that good. Like, I would just say <laughs> random stuff that don't make sense. Like, and then have guest people. Like, you should totally Joe Rogan out. Everybody would show up. Yeah. If Will Smith says, come do a joint with me, just like everybody shows up for Mike Tyson, yeah. they're going to come. And if you ain't scared to go do a Mike Tyson interview, you dang sure ain't scared to go to do Will Smith interview. Yeah. And do your interviews and talk about wellness and, and, and mental health and and the, the, and all that stuff. And just be, I'm sure Joe Rogan will help you get it off the ground. Yeah. All right, this is what you need. Blah. Yeah. Screw this, man. You slapped him. It's over. Forget about it. It's over. Yeah. You okay? Manage your money because <laughs> there will be no more you Hollywood Jacks. <laughs> so manage your money as you should. Go up there and talk to YouTube personally because you have the, the clout to and tell them, all right, I want to scream from y'all. What's the deal? What can we do? And they're going to lay out the part of copper. Screw it. Yeah. I know if I would, man. Listen. <sighs> You listen. The new Hollywood is apps anyway. Yeah. Netflix, Hulu, Showtime, Stars. That's the new Hollywood. Them people out there trying to hold the reins, they lost it. It's over. Yeah. And they're trying desperately to get it back. So I would watch a Netflix awards channel. I would watch yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen like some streaming awards and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Oh, yeah. Imagine if, if Netflix had an award, they did their own like Grammy thing and just posted it on the ch- I'll watch it. I mean, I would try to get tickets to it, to be honest with you. I right. want to be a part of the studio audience because. Netflix be popping. Epics be popping. Oh my God. Epics is up. Oh. First of all, Epics is slept on. Yeah. Heavy. Epics is slapped on. Epics, Hulu, uh, 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 Prime Movie, Prime Video, the uh, 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 Paramount and Disney apps, they're Hollywood. They're just Hollywood trying to get into the space. Yeah. Um, um, but I still got them both. They're pretty good. And then um, uh, what else we got? Showtime, Stars, oh, C- yeah, the okay. CBS joint. We got about $150 worth. Yeah, she complains about it all the time. But watches them, though. That's the thing. Uh, uh, this, is, yeah, this is this last side thing. She will duck her money out of the account <laughs> to not pay them and let that app not work. Because you know what I do? Do y'all really want to know what I do it? Because if there's something he's not watching and it hits like three different times, I'm like, okay, you don't watch this anymore. So I'll just get them that way. I'll just like cut it off that way. But for the most part, we do watch all of them because I hate the fact that they're not collaborative. They actually are collaborative on Amazon. Oh, okay. You could delete them all and get them on the Amazon. It'll come out of one bill. That's but I ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> because my thing is that she thinks I don't know she deletes it. But as soon as the movie I want is on there, I just restart it. Like that to me, there I'm grown. There's no barrier I can't pay to get to what I want to see. <laughs> I just say, it says subscribe. I just keep clicking, click, because click, click, just, click. Again, it's really just to monitor the miscellaneous um, polls, but okay. The the um documentary app that was a little far. That was a little far, but still because again, a good app. A lot of documentaries or a lot of things you see is either going to be in his YouTube Premium or like I said through Amazon. So I just pull all the money out just. Wait and be like, all right, that one, okay, I get it, that one. But one that's like he hasn't watched and he hasn't said, hey, why is this not paid or whatever? 
Bye bye. Cancellation. Cancellation. Why did they go Jamaican for cancellation? I don't know. It just fit. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right, I got to go around. I can't kind of do what I got to do. This is Sean Brown. I am a way to fly. We are killing it and grilling it and filling it. This is the beginning of our new setup. Yeah. The it's beginning. Only, it's only gonna get better. We, we were supposed to go get the thing to go back there, put yeah. a little TV up. And uh, my lights are coming, right? Your lights are coming, yes. Did you pay for my stands for the light thing to go up? I did. It's come, when is it going to be here now? Saturday. I don't believe her. Amazon anyway. Prime Day. So, yeah. And uh, we're Audi 530. Thank you all for coming to the new channel, Absolutely. man. Sub. We're getting into everything. And if there's something you want us to cover, put it in the comments. Say, hey, man, cover this. Did you know this happened? Woody, woody, woo. Because yep. we can't see everything that happens. We just want to make sure y'all enjoy this channel and you like it. We're getting into everything. Everything. Now, uh, we got to go do what we got to do. But tonight, we have to talk about Megan the Stallion. Ooh. You know, I see someone on TikTok that a dude pointed out that I never ever thought of. What? A stallion is a male horse. That's what they've been saying that. I wouldn't pay attention to that. I don't know if you total sidebar. And this is for the ladies. Maybe some guys that were watching Love and Hip Hop. But do y'all remember the episode of Love? No, no, it's not Love and Hip Hop. Off of Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was with Kenya Moore and Phaedra. And they were putting out Sorry, it's so funny. They were both trying to put out exercise videos to grow your butt. And so wow. Kenya Moore had one and Phaedra Parks named her like Donkey Booty. <laughs> Kenya Moore named her like Stallion and they were going back and forth saying, why would someone want a Donkey Booty? <laughs> and all the guys were like, we want a Donkey Booty. We want a Donkey Booty. <laughs> you know and Stallions do got fat butts. Like, yeah. it but my thing is, I just, I don't know why I never put it together. Yeah. Because the thing is, it's a catchy name. And then what's sad is now the uh, Megan the Mule. Which so. is a donkey. Yeah, so. But you know what? We're going to get into it later. Right. We're going to break this down. And I don't know if you should, send, you know, it, it, we're going to get into it. I got to go do stuff. Yeah. Because I can't just sit in my room and be happy, but yep. whatever. Uh, I got to go do stuff and I'll be back, man. We're going to get more lights. It's going to get right. Uh, and we're loving life, man. Don't do drugs. We out of 5,000. Peace. <laughs>